Look at that. It's the remains of the old bridge under the new one. Incredible. past the kind of way. Got to scramble up here and then follow the path up there. There we go. That's Linnidwell from Penarol Wen. There's Tin Canal right in front of us, that gorge. Devil's Kitchen. Big wind. Came down that yesterday. going today. This is Penarolwen. I'm on my own today unfortunately. Still on the way up. Now we're at 328 meters from this point. I'll show you uh, how it looks down there. It's Trivan. Grizzly Ridge, Bit of Fark, Castle of Gwynt, Bit of Fower, the uh, Caribbean, no it's not a Caribbean is it, that's a uh, Igan, which is over there. Right, this point. We're at 530 meters, so just a little over halfway. And that's not the summit, that's a false summit. The summit's back beyond that. So uh, it's going to get steep from here on in. Oh, still climbing. It's taken me about, I've been about an hour and 20 minutes so far. Oh, this is the type. The paths are not that well defined in places, so you've got to decide the best path for yourself. I think as long as it goes upwards, I don't mind. It's pretty steep up here. They give you some idea of what it's like. He's going to put the GoPro on the floor. <laughs> it keeps falling over, it's that steep. It's a, it's a lot of loose shale around you, so you're taking one step forward and two back. But that's how what it is. Great though, I love it here. I still wouldn't give this up for, for the day job. <laughs> pretty steep, pretty steep at this point. Very loose. You've got to be careful, pick your way, but it's still wonderful. Sort of get my get myself in shot. It's a 
best selfie I'll ever have. <laughs> Nearly there. Nearly there. Wow, look at that. And there's, I think that's the summit. So I just gotta backtrack around to the left a little bit. Well, the last bits up to the summit is a bit of a scramble, so. Easy scramble mind, I'll be fair, but you just can't find, you've got to just pick your own route, it's best just to use your, best just to use your map from here, just to make sure you're going in the right direction. This is a, uh, some a mountain you don't, I don't very rarely hear anyone talk about, but if you've never done it, it's brilliant. You have a great day. And I haven't seen anyone out there but all to myself. It's just bonkers, isn't it? It's fantastic. Just look at that. I think that's called the Linnboch Ruid. And then you can see Bristley Ridge. I've put other videos of that. I've climbed that every couple of weeks ago. I've reached the top. Very windy today. Um, the summit's that way. So you think you're, uh, when you think you're there, you, you're not. You've still got a way to go. Anyway, there in a few minutes. Our next, that's the next goal. So I'm gonna to have to make my way back over that way. You can see a path coming down there. So I'll find my way over there and then uh, get cracking on. Go up and over that now, and then make our way up to Canada's David. Going's quite easy from since uh, all went, and uh, yeah. Visibility is good, but if you had a bad day, cloud-wise, you would have to uh, use your map to get off here and to get up here to this bit. We've got some cloud coming in now, so we'll soon find out. Making our way down from David, and we're going to make it over the Canada Llewellyn is that way. Then, when I get into the brook, then I'm going to drop down towards the uh, the reservoir. But I can't pronounce it.
beautiful up here. Oh, look at the cloud coming in over there. It's going to be over here any minute now. I'll be covered in mist. Look at that. Just like that, we're shrouded in mist. Summit of Carnes Llewellyn, 1094 meters. That's my third summit today. And now I'm going to make my way down into the bulk and make my way back down to the reservoir. And back to the ground where, where my lovely cup of coffee is. See the cloud getting blown over the top. Pretty spectacular, eh? You can see sunshine down in the valley. I'm gonna have to use a uh, map to get off here now, just to make sure I go in the right direction. But it should be okay. I'm not overly worried. I'll find my way off. As I stick to the map, I'll be good. Stunning it still, look at it. I'm going to be making my way over this way, and then I'm going to go... There's a valley there, come I'm going to make my way down then, past that lake, or that reservoir. This is Pennywine Wen. Um, I'm going to pick a path through here now, and hopefully... When I go down into the next bowl, it takes, I'll be able to drop, take a right drop down towards the, the, the lake or the reservoir. Oh, that's a nice drop. <laughs> I forget how high up you are up here. Drops here. <laughs> oh, sorry, my finger in the way. Here you go. That's where we're coming from, and this is where we're going. Looks like it's stunning, isn't it? It's just amazing. So we've just come down there. I'm following the path now. There's the lake again, red. and there's to the right here somewhere now. There should be. I should be able to drop down. Follow the path then all the way down to the Gwyn Gorf Isaf, which is right in front of me. That's where I started from. Here we go. This is the path that I was just mentioning and it's uh, just going to follow that all the way now. Once I get onto the tarmac past this lake guys, just, it's just a easy going then back to the campsite um, next time I come I'll go up that way um, I don't know what that's called I'll have a little look there we are 
halfway down the path. So we just came from there and we dropped down here in this valley. It's just so tranquil here. It's just nothing but this sound of water and sheep and birds. Anyway, we're at the bottom of the pass now, so uh, we'll be on the tarmac soon on our way back down the road. Look at that, folks, isn't that amazing? Almost to the bottom of the tarmac road now you can see Gwern Goff Isef in front of us. That's my uh, home until Friday morning. My van is there. It's all good. We're back now, Gwern Goff Isef, where we started from. <laughs> 